down to the last 16 at the Sony Ericsson Open with Maria Sharapova and Sam Stozer among those seeking quarter-final spots. Sharapova had won all six of their previous clashes and the Russian again seized control here to snare the opening break of serve. Yeah, didn't do enough on the volley. I, I like to see Stoza moving forward on that. Stoza did break back, but it was Sharapova who later found enough again to take a scrappy opening set, 6-4. Did well to close out the set in the end. In the second, Stoza really struggled to get any consistency off the ground while Sharapova, who's a two-time former finalist here in Miami, started to find her best form. Terrific. The love game for Maria Sharapova, her second of the match. Sharapova, a comfortable winner in straight sets. Another superb return from Sharapova. She wraps up the match with six straight games. Uh, Maria Sharapova, twice a finalist, makes her way through to the quarterfinals. World number one, Caroline Bosniaki was next on stadium court. The Dane met Germany's Andrea Petkovic in another fourth round clash. Bosniaki was expected by many to reach a third career quarter-final here in Miami and the Dane had three set-point chances to win the opener but Petkovic, mixing up her usual aggressive game with some clever angles, responded brilliantly to save them all. Oof. The 21st seed then broke Bosniaki to win the set. Wow, what a way to finish it with the first ace of the match. Bosniaki seemed short of her usual energy, but to her credit, the world number one battled back to win the second set. And a rare winner from uh, Wozniacki. Fortunately for Bosniaki, Petkovic controlled the decider. 52 unforced errors in all from the world number one as Petkovic became the first German quarter-finalist here in 10 years. What a way to end it. She won the first set with an ace. She wins the match with an ace. Captain her brilliantly to serve it out to love. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> it's party time. The number one seed and the winner in Indian Wells is out. Also in fourth round action in Miami were Agnieszka Radvanska and Francesca Schiavone. The French Open champion had won all four of their previous meetings, but in truth this match couldn't have been much more different as Radvanska totally dominated to win the opener to love. Oh yes, that's stunning because Schiavone had done everything right. The pole also reeled off the first three games of the second set before Schiavone found some form. The pair then played one of the points of the tournament during the second set. Oh, that's unbelievable. Oh, incredible scrambling by Radvanska. Radvanska untroubled as she completed a surprisingly easy win. Well, that'll do it. Well, considering the past history between these two, that's a huge win indeed for Agnieszka Radvanska. Never beaten Schiavone in four previous attempts. The one last 16 clash that couldn't be played on Monday was the contest between Kim Kleisters and Anna Ivanovic. Heavy rain hit Crandon Park at night time, meaning this match will now be played on Tuesday.